Hey, welcome back to lesson 10 of our zigzag series, which will be the last lesson for this series unless we decide to add any bonus videos. Since we've now completed the bare bones for zigzag, in this lesson I'm going to show you some things that you might be able to do to enhance your game and make it your own. So here I have my zigzag project with a few changes that I've made to the game. Now first off, let me play through my game so that you can see what it looks like. Alright, so here I have a lava texture for kind of the background, and then I have a particle effect that follows the platforms. And I've changed the lighting to make it look like our ball is glowing from underneath. And that's just a few changes that I made for my own version of ZigZag. Now the first thing that you probably notice is this lava plane that I have, which is a free asset that I downloaded off of the Unity Asset Store. You can find this asset by typing lava into the search bar and setting the price down to zero. And it's right here. Once you download and import this asset, you'll then have this lava flowing shader folder and then i use this lava distort prefab which originally looks a little different than what i have here originally the material attached to it has a different texture for this first slot it has this lava 2 texture and so this is what it originally looks like but i didn't want to have these two rocks here in the middle and so i selected a transparent blank texture for that first slot. And so here I have this lava distort prefab attached to our death zone object. And so it will move with our ball, but this object itself, when you play the game, has a movement in the materials offset to make it look like the lava is flowing. All right, next up I have the lighting, which is one directional light and one spotlight. The directional light is an orange colored light which is angled up to give the ball and the platform this orange underglow. I then have a spotlight which is attached to our death zone so it'll follow the ball because our death zone has the follow script attached to it. And this is a blue colored light and it's just positioned directly above the ball aiming down to give it more of a cool color shadow on top. And so the theme, as you can tell, that I was going for was that the ball and platforms are in some sort of lava cave. And so the ball and platforms are receiving more light from the lava than anything else in our scene. And the last major change that I've made to my zigzag game are the particle effects that play when your ball touches the platforms. And this just gives it the additional appearance that the platforms are sinking into the lava. To do this, I just created a basic particle prefab that looks like this, and then all of my platform prefabs have this new empty game object, which I use for a transform on where I want this particle effect to be instantiated. I then instantiate this particle effect on the position of this transform, but I don't make it a child to this object or the platform because if it were a child, then this particle effect would fall with the platform and you really wouldn't even see it at all. And so you want this particle effect to stay where you instantiate it. And then each platform keeps track of its own particle effect. And when I delete the platform, the platform then deletes its particle effect. Now these are the ideas that I came up with for changing my zigzag game, and I hope this is helpful in giving you ideas on how you can make your zigzag game different from anybody else's. So that's everything that we're going to cover in this lesson and our basic series for how to create your own clone of the game zigzag. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and our series. Thank you so much for becoming a member of our website and make sure that you stay tuned for all our future content.